Now I'm going to place this tool right in that little gully right there where there's no fibers to be cut. Are you trying to install your own carpet? And did you get stuck when it comes to cutting the seams? If so, here's your answer. Okay, so this is the piece of carpet we're going to be seaming. You always want to check which way the nap is laying. You can check that by simply rubbing the carpet one way it looks like. If you rub it this way, it looks dark. It's just like a piece of velvet. One way is laying down, one way the pile is standing up. You always want to cut your carpet in the direction that the pile is laying down, okay? I'm going to use a row finder and a row cutter to make this cut. And if you're unable to tell by rubbing the carpet back and forth like this, which way the carpet's laying, you can always flip the carpet over and look at the back of it really close. And I'll point something out right here. This way you can tell which way is the length way and which way is the width way on the carpet. The big thick wires that you see will always run left and right on the carpet and not the length way. So if you'll flip the carpet over and look at the back of it, and these big ripped, ribbed lines will always be running the width of the carpet. And then once you get that figured out, you can, it'll give you more of an idea which way is the length. So carpet is made in rows, as you've probably just seen on the back of the carpet. You can see the cords in the backing of the carpet running across ways and also the cords running lengthways. So carpet is made like a grid and it's made in rows whenever it's made. So whenever you make your seam cut you want to actually part those rows of fiber out and run your cutter directly down in between those fibers so you're not cutting the fibers a cut fiber will look like a hole or a dip in your seam so what we're going to do that's the reason for this tool right here we're actually going to take it and part the fibers and then that'll give us a, a goalie a trench you might say just an opening in our fiber so we can take this cutter and run right directly in between each row of fibers and cut only the backing of the carpet instead of the actual fibers okay so i want to take this i know this way is laying down we're just going to stick it right in there and just push forward and it's make it will actually follow the rows all by itself if you just push it right in there okay again we're going to just take our row finder and just push it right through the fibers like that and it's actually following a row in the carpet backing how it's made and it'll just go the complete length of however long the carpet is if you just keep it going okay so whenever we do that if you'll take a look here you can actually see there's no carpet fibers at all right there and that's what i did i actually ran this tool right down between those rows all the way down now I'm going to place this tool right in that little gully right there where there's no fibers to be cut. Now and just follow right down that gully that I created by parting those fibers there. And it's going to make a beautiful cut without cutting any fibers. And I'll show you that in just a second. Now if you cut that proper the right way you'll see when we pull this apart there's not there's not a bunch of fibers falling loose or anything like that that's because we did not distort this pile of the carpet at all we only cut the backing and that my friend gives you an absolute beautiful edge to join right up to with another piece and make a perfect seam